Hey, what's going on guys? BD Kane 721. Look at what showed up at my office today. It is the traveling box. It's on stop number five. I feel very honored to be on the list once again this year. Uh, it's so funny today because I was planning on working all day from the office. Normally I work at home in the afternoon and just so happened to be a random day that I'm working here at the office this afternoon. And guess what? The postal worker came up to our office and, and hand delivered it to me. So must have been fate. Happy to get it. Happy to be on the list once again this year. Uh, I want to share with you what I took out. I'm not going to show you what's inside. Uh, just be aware. It's a lot of fun and set aside some time to go through it. Uh, took me a little bit of time to go through everything and I pulled out some really cool stuff. I tried to stick with a theme this year uh, on what to pull out and really just stuck with the San Diego Padres theme to make sure that um, I take out some really cool stuff for the binder, for the PC. And I took out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things. Uh, here are the binder cards that will go into the Padres binder. I've got 1987 Topps Rich Gossage, better known as Goose. I've got this Legends of the Game Trevor Hoffman from Tops, And what looks to be like an in-person auto of Gene Walter from 1987 Donruss. That's pretty cool. remember opening a ton of that product as a kid. And then this really cool kind of red, white, and blue prism of Will Myers um, from 2015. So one of his earlier cards as a, as a San Diego Padre. Don't know if he's even playing this year. Might be out of baseball completely. Uh, and then another card that I thought was really cool. It doesn't um, really fit the Padre PC, although it really does uh, if you think about it. Um, but the player is not in a Padres uniform. Uh, and that's this 2021 Tops, like um, some kind of commemorative card. 70th commemorative card of Gary Templeton, All-Star Rookie Cup as well. Uh, just a cool card. This is actually a gold foil, which apparently is numbered at a 50. Uh, and Gary Templeton, if you don't know the history of Gary Templeton, was the starting shortstop for the 1984 pennant winning San Diego Padres. He went to the World Series in 1984, got beat by the Detroit Tigers which was uh, not much of a contest from what I know about that series and what I remember about it. But just thought that was a really cool card. Fits right into my PC as a numbered numbered card and a foil card. So thought that that would look good in the PC. And then I um, saw this in there, had to, pick, had to take it out. This is the, the rookie debut of Fernando from 2019 Tops. Um, can't leave that in the binder. I'm hoping he'll have a good year this year. And then the last card that I took out is this just really cool Project 2020 card of Tony Gwynn. I don't know much about the Project 2020 cards. I know they were very popular when they first came out. Um, so I have to get a little bit more educated on it. But when I saw it and it said Mr. Padre on it in the 1983 design, uh, which was his rookie year, I just thought that was a cool card. Definitely going to put that on display at home. And that's it, guys. That's what I took out. I'm going to ship this off probably tomorrow. Uh, put the stuff that I have in, uh, or, or at least put the stuff that I have set aside at home. I'll put that in the box tonight and then get this off to the next person tomorrow. And I'll, as Jason wants, I'll put the delivery tracking information on the text. All right. That's it for today. Have a great rest of your day and have a good week. And I'll talk to you soon. See you.